Hello and welcome to this quick video on this thing here. This is a little 176th scale little radio controlled car, full proportional control with lights and everything. Now this is one of those things that I got sent that I wasn't expecting and I wasn't going to even do a video on it but after playing with it over the past three or four weeks I thought you know what I'm going to do a little bit of a video particularly as I've posted images of it in a couple of places and lots of people have gone what is that? So it comes with a little remote control. I'll go into all the details in a minute. I'll put links down below. Let's turn him on. Yes, there is under lighting. There is rear lights at the back that operate as also brake lights. There's headlights at the front. And then using standard remote control, uh, we have our steering. Let me put it that way so you can see. So we have full proportional control. And then we also have uh, forward and backward gears. Now there is triple rates on here. Let's put in the lowest one so it's easy for me to do it on the screen. So pulling the trigger will make it go forwards. We also have the brake lights in reverse and then we have steering as you'd expect from a little car like this. You can also, if you press the little third button on the side, you get the under lighting, very fast and furious. And then the other button on the side controls the headlights. Let's turn the under lighting off. So you can either have them on like this, which is the default. You can have them off or you can make them flash as well if you want to let people know that you need to go past. This has been a load of fun. Uh, first of all, let me show you what comes in the box. Let me turn everything off. Uh, this is charged from a regular USB-C connector. I'll show you how to do all that in a minute. It came pre-bound. Um, when the lights are flashing on it like this, it means it uh, isn't connected to the radio. There's a little bind button, but it came all pre-bound and it was ready to go. So as well as the car and the remote, inside the little box, is believe it or not you can obviously get a little manual that shows you how to set it up uh, shows you how to bind it and stuff you don't really need that because it was already done uh, there are a couple of spare shells obviously you can tell i've got the uh, toyota supra one here this is very handy particularly as the way i've been playing with it uh, with uh, the family and dogs and things and then a set of spares which are believe it or not we have the little uh, tail fin and we have these other black pieces are the bits that hold the bottom in. I'll take it apart in a minute and show you the inside. Um, and then we have also the plastics for the brake lights and the headlights as well. Because they do lots of different car variants. But it's nice to have some spare shells in the box. Because invariably you are going to break something. And then you have a couple of little tools including a cable. I've been charging my car from the uh, USB standard adapter, nothing particularly fancy. It doesn't take very long to charge up. I think it's about 450 milliamp hour battery inside. Now the way it works in terms of the controls, uh, this actually for the money isn't a bad controller. It's not the highest end thing you've ever seen in your life, but it does actually come apart for transport. So this is how it kind of arrives in the box. The batteries are in here. To get to the batteries, you need to undo this screw. And then once that screw is done, this whole piece at the bottom drops out. Uh, the radio itself runs on four AAA batteries. Bit of a shame that's not rechargeable as well, but the, the, the AAAs seem to be lasting quite a long time. And it is also a little bit of a wiggle to get it to fit properly, but eventually you'll find the perfect angle where it'll fit in. There we go, and it'll just slot home, and then you kind of lock it in place with a little screw, and you just need a coin or something to do that. Then to connect it to the base, you just kind of push it and slide it home. There's a nice healthy click, and then you're ready to go. Now, the other thing at the bottom here, at the front, this is actually a charging station for the car. By default, the USB-C thing is down. Uh, like I say, I've been charging the car from a regular USB cable, um, and it charges fine, uh, but you can kind of slide the adapter out and then by twisting the bit at the bottom, you can lock it and you can put the car into position on there. And that also keeps them together, which is a nice way to keep them safe. On top, the controls are a three position on switch where it's either off, it's on to charge. You get a little red light that shines on it. So it sits in a little pool of red light to remind you, that's quite handy to remind you that you've left it charging. There's a little red LED under the bottom of the car to let you know it's charging the battery and then pushing it all the way across 
actually turns on the remote, you get the little indicator. Other controls on here then, we have the triple rates, low, medium and high. Uh, low is good when you're first starting out. You also have whether or not the steering is normal or reversed. And then you have the trims and the dual rates for all of the settings. So very, very easy, intuitive radio control to use with the little car. In terms of driving this around, as you've already seen, this is just really good fun, particularly if you turn it up with the triple rates so that you can zoom around on the floor. It'll run quite nicely on both completely uh, flat floors, things like tiles, laminates, things like that, but also it'll run fine on anything but the roughest carpets too. I do like the fact it's got the triple rates. I very quickly, once I got the hang of it, turned it up to the full rate speed. That gives you access to full speed, which still isn't massive, but easily enough if you're driving it on top of your table or zooming it around on the kitchen or dining room floor. It isn't super fast. It's not one of those things that will go skidding off the edge of everything, but it's easily fast enough to get in and out of trouble. Uh, and it takes a little bit of control to master. The throttle in particular on the high rates can be a little bit aggressive. It is kind of fed in, but uh, you can kind of get the back end to kick out and do kind of wheel spins. It is rubberized little tires on this, uh, but it can easily break traction if you're a little bit too aggressive with the throttle and the high end. The light on the car I initially thought was a little bit gimmicky, but after playing with this, it's actually worth its weight in gold. In those situations, when you do things like you drive under the sofa and you think, oh, and then you try and drive it out and then you hear it hit something and get stuck, you can actually see whether or not it's pointing towards you or away from you. And the underlighting is quite a cool, nice trick as well. It means that you can drive around in the dark or in lower light conditions and reenact scenes from things like the Fast and Furious and have a lot of fun. It does extend the amount of time and the places that you can drive it around at home. Battery charge, as I said, can be done from a regular USB charger and you'll get about 25 to 30 minutes with it running at pretty full speed. Although you will notice it will start to get a little bit more sluggish towards the end of your battery. The triple rates are a nice idea. The way the radio control actually feels and works in the hand is great. Very reliable. Again, it isn't super fast, but on 100%, it's easily enough to be a fun challenge. I do like the lights and the brake lights, and I'm pleased the car can be charged from a USB cable because the batteries are lasting pretty long time in this remote, but I expect they would last a little bit less if I was regularly charging the car from this thing. Only a couple of things I would have liked. Uh, first of all is for this thing to have some ability to support rechargeable batteries, maybe 18650s or something, rather than triple A's. It's one of those things that uh, gets expensive when you keep having to replace the batteries in it. Although, as I said, they seem to last a reasonably long time. Uh, shame the car isn't available without a remote. This is using standard protocols uh, so potentially could be bound to other radios and also to have different cars to be able to race around as well might be fun i've not looked yet whether or not there are other body uh, styles that will fit on the same kind of chassis i guess there is there's definitely different versions of this available from turbo racing they did a mini one i think originally that didn't have lights but there's lots of others as well if they brought out a little mx5 version i would definitely get one of those the only downside with this cute little thing is the price. It's listed on Banggood and lots of other places. The challenge with that is that this, at that kind of price, is kind of wandering into big boy toys territory. Would you buy this for a child? Maybe if you were feeling particularly flush, but I think these things get really fun when you have more than one and you can actually do the racing and chase each other around the house and set up courses on those dark winter nights when you can't go outside that take you underneath the dining table into the kitchen down the hall all those kind of things and have them racing each other that could be an awful lot of fun so in summary this has surprised me this has been an awful lot more fun will i be playing this in two or three months time hard to tell if some of my friends got them then maybe because it might be one of those daft things we do in the winter evenings where we kind of set up tracks and have races 
This is kind of like Scalectrics without the guides and a seven, eight, nine, ten year old version of me would have lost their minds if they've had something like this. Hopefully the price will come down a little bit and that will make it a little bit easier to get. And again, hopefully there'll be versions of these that are available without the radio control, which will be an awful lot cheaper and allow you to bind them to your existing radio. Those would be cute ideas. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.